Hello viewers, this is Jared from Jared Production Studios and welcome to my 2020 presentation of my LEGO Star Wars Clone Army. Now I'm very excited to finally show this. It's been a long time since I've made a Clone Army video and it has grown quite a bit over the last year and a half or so that I've made it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the Clone Army and I'll go ahead and tell you how much of everything I have. So in front, you can see Captain Rex leading a total of 318 clone trooper minifigures now that is awesome we also have uh, a little over 40 vehicles back there and on the floor as well i'll give you as good of a look at those as i can uh, without further ado i just want to go ahead and take a look at all of the minifigures and tell you what all i have so as previously mentioned in front we obviously have captain rex the phase 2 version leading i think this is a total of 28 of the 501st troopers of course, we have 15 of the new ones from the Battle Pack, and we also have 8 of the older 501st, as well as 5 of the Jet Troopers. Now, that portion of my army I would like to see grow quite a bit in the next couple years. And it's also worth mentioning that these are not all of my Clone Troopers, as I do also have about 5 unopened sets with clones in them, including other 501st Battle Packs that just have not built yet and I want to keep sealed. We're just going to keep going down the line here and give you a view of all of them in this first major row. We have four of the uh, generic clone commanders there in between, or should I say on the outside of Commander Cody, Commander Wolf, Captain Rex, and then Commander Fox. Those are all my phase one clone commanders. And then behind them, we have a total of 110-ish. There's about 100 of the... Uh, Clone Wars era clone troopers. I don't know how I happened to get that many of them. There are quite a few back there, and we also have just one of the wolf pack troopers. Now, in the very back, this is what I would consider to be one of the more hidden gems of many collections on YouTube, and that is that I have a total of 39 of the super old 2002 clone trooper, the very original with the cutout visor, which is a very cool minifigure. And again, I'm very glad to have that many of them, and they look quite nice with all of the Clone Wars troopers right in a row there. Um, they blend pretty well, and I really like the molds and everything on those figures. Okay, now I would just like to go ahead and continue on the right side here. This is where most of all the Phase 2 are, with the exception of the 501st, obviously. And right here, as you can see, we have eight of the, I believe that's eight at least, of the uh, um, 212th Phase 2 Attack Battalion, the newer version, of course. Then on the other side, we have 10 of the Airborne uh, attached to the 212th, and then I couldn't really find the spot to put these minifigures, so I included two of the Phase 2, just the plain Phase 2, kind of a rare figure, actually. And then one of the 332nd Clone Troopers that came out with all of these figures in front, but didn't really look good with them, so I included them with the 212, even though that's not where they belong. Behind them, we have two of the Wolfpack clones, and then we have five of the older 212, which are kind of rare figures. I'm glad to have five of those. And then back behind that, we have an assortment of Commander Gree leading his... 41st Elite Corps clones. These are the actual ones that appeared in Episode 3 on Kashyyyk. Then we have a few of the non-canon ones back there. Just the plain Phase 2 with camouflage. Also worth mentioning, these might technically be considered canon now that they did appear in Battlefront 2, which is a canon game. Um, so those probably are actually canon, but at the time of their release, they definitely were not. So quite a few of those. Uh, as you can see, we have 11 of the uh, Scout Kashyyyk troopers, and then we also have what is that, 11, again, of the other ones, so I didn't buy all the battle packs to get those, I'm not really sure how I got all those, and then right behind that, we have two of the new um, clone gunners that came with the Republic fighter tanks back there, then we also have three of the old shock troopers that came with the Coruscant Place gunship, and behind that we have five, or should I say four of the Commander Neo troopers, and four of the older shock troopers, and then behind that we also have some of the older Phase 2 playing clones with the cutout visors, some recon ones, some plain Phase 2 ones. And then we have a Clone Army Customs helmet on a random shock trooper, and then two Senate commandos, even though those aren't technically clone troopers. And then for the last row here, which I actually really like this row, I probably like it more than Phase 2. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I really like Phase 1 clones, so especially the, the ones from Episode 2 here. We got three of the commanders, two of the captains, two of the lieutenants, and then four of the green sergeants, which is awesome. Behind that, we probably have about 10 of the plain phase one clones that came out recently. And a couple of them were customized per the Battlefront 2 look. As you can see there, we have one of the snipers and one of the heavies. And then behind that, we also have six of the older Clone Wars clone gunners. We got five of the Horn Company clones. 
We also have five of the uh, ARC troopers here. One of them was a little bit customized, colored on, even though I would prefer it not to be that, so we've all had that phase at one point. And then behind that, we also have four of the Rancor Battalion ARF clones. And we also have three of just the plain ARF clones, ARF troopers from the Clone Wars as well. And here is actually probably my most hated part of the army. A lot of people really like these clones, but I'm not a big fan of getting them in mass number because they were not meant to be in mass number. And they kind of throw the color off of the rest of the army just a little bit. I guess they look good next to the 212th, but in this case they're not. We have a total of 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 of these Bomb Squad clone troopers. So there are quite a few of those. Uh, back behind that, I'm sad I had to separate the old Phase 2 clones, but I just did for the sake of um, for making everything match. We have... Uh, what is that? Six of the old clone pilots, and then we also have six of the old 327th, commonly mistaken as a 212, but 327th of the old Phase 2 clones, and then we have two Clone Wars pilots, a 501st pilot, and a 442nd Siege Battalion. That is one of my rarest figures, and probably a really awesome clone as well. And now I'd briefly just like to show all of the vehicles that I have. I apologize that all of this has been handheld camera. I just can't find a way to get this in a frame without holding the camera itself. So in the front here we have um, five of the 501st Bark Speeders. Got a few of the old ones, of course, on either side. Then we have some of the old 2018 um, mini builds for the Clone and Jedi Battle Pack. Then on top here we've got like six of the 501st ATRTs. We got two of the 2005 version, then one of the 2019. On the side here we have two of the... 2017 Republic fighter tank and then one from 2008 in the back as well and then we have two of the 2002 Republic gunships those are the only gunships I have and they are pretty rare so glad to have those as well and then on the side just more battle pack random builds that I don't really care about and then in the very back there we have the 2010 clone turbo tank and the 2003 ATTE so quite a few rarer older sets in that bunch but that is not all that is because underneath the table, you can see I have all of the, I should say, spacecraft, all of the starship starfighters. We have the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor from 2020, um, Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter from 2002, and then the 2018 of Anakin's. And then we have the Republic Attack Gunship, or Republic Attack Shuttle right there in the middle from like 2009. We have the older ATAP, we have the Z95, and then a swap speeder, a V Wing. An ARC-170, a Republic Frigate V-19, and then all of my Jedi are on this platform. At least most of them are on the space plate. I'm not going to go through them all, but you can kind of see for yourself which ones I have, which ones I don't. Uh, quite a few different Jedi here. Again, not all of them. A lot of them are also with their respective sets, but these are just the ones that I could find and put on the base plate to keep there. And as mentioned, there are quite a few sets I have that are still on opens that have a whole bunch of clones in them. I think we even have the newer ATAP back there as well. So quite a few sets that include clone troopers that have not been built. So I guess the number would go up by about 10 if that's the case, but not really enough to change the outlook of the entire clone army itself. So that was a real, real quick and probably rather shaky walkthrough. Again, I apologize. Normally I have the camera pretty stationary when filming. Just there's uh, so much here that took quite a while. And I know I'm going to get the question, will I be selling any? Probably at some point, but just don't go crazy in the comments asking to sell or buy certain clones because none of them are for sale at the moment. I will probably in the next year start to sell off some of them, maybe the sets as well, just because I do not need so many. Um, probably after the 501st Battle Pack, I'll make one big army in 2021 and then probably start to downgrade from there. So if you did enjoy, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And thank you all for viewing. I greatly appreciate that. And if you have any suggestions on uh, different formations or what clones I should buy, go ahead and let me know because I think I've got a pretty good mix here. And I also apologize that I did not have blasters on all of them because I put about blasters on maybe 150 of them and it just took twice the amount of time and I just did not want to take the extra half hour to put blasters on all of them. So that's why not all of them have blasters. So I apologize about that. But that's all I really have for this video. Um, go ahead and let me know what other videos you'd like to see. So thank you all for viewing and as always guys, have a great day.